after his rivals ousted Ulu Muhammad from the capital. There was virtually no place left for him on Horde territory. Sarai was now ruled by Kuchuk Makhand, and Sid Ahmed was second in Crimea. Therefore, Khan took refuge from enemies in Russian possessions. It was located in the city of Belev, now in the Tula region of Russia. The Grand Duke of Moscow Vasily II received him in his lands. The Russian ruler was in debt to the Khan. Since 14 years earlier, Ulu Muhammad, while still the Khan of the entire horde, supported Vasily in his long dispute and trial with his parents for the Moscow throne. However, very soon Vasily too had to make sure that harboring the exiled Khan threatened Moscow with troubles on the part of the new ruler of the horde, Khan Kuchuk Muhammad. After all, each of both Muhammads, the big one in Belev and the little one in the barn, proclaimed himself the only legitimate Khan of the Golden Horde and demanded from Moscow that it recognize only his power. As a result, in order not to irritate Kuchuk Muhammad, Vasily tried to expel Ulu Mukhamd and his associates beyond his borders. But he failed. Ulu Muhammad managed to repel Russian troops. Accusing Basil of treachery, Ulu Muhammad from that time on turned from a refugee into a conqueror. He began to seize Russian territories. Khan captured Nizhny Novgorod, Murom, and besieged Moscow itself. Vasily tried to defend himself, but suffered another defeat and was even captured himself, receiving freedom only in exchange for a promise to pay a ransom and give ownership of his lands to the Khan's sons. Ulu Muhammad subjugated the former Bulgar Ulus of the Horde to his power, and set up his residence in the ancient Bulgar fortress of Kazan. Soon Kazan grew into a crowded capital city. In fact, during these years, Ulu Muhammad created a separate state, the future Kazan Khanate, on the northern outskirts of the Horde, on the territory most of which was previously part of the Bulgar Ulus. And although Muhammad did not set out to found an independent power until the end of his life, he considered himself the ruler of a single golden horde. His heirs already ruled in new state formations. Mahmud, the eldest son of Ulu Makhamd, became the Kazan Khan, and Kosim, who received the lands of Meshkara under the agreement between Muhammad and Vasili, became the founder and first ruler of the Kasimov Yurt.